first off I cut off a piece of sprue and glued it to the top of the legs and then glued it onto the inside of the torso so the glue for the plastic would give it a good bond I then did apply some green stuff on the inside just to give it a bit of extra strength and now basically what I want to do is I want to finish off the fat of the torso I want to give it some intestines hanging out of the front of the stomach hence these pieces which I've made previously and all you have to do for this is a small piece of green stuff make it as thin as you can turn it into a, um, a long sausage cut it into segments U shapes like that nice and easy now the reason why I've done these first so they're actually dried like that is it makes it a lot easier later on now green stuff to the uh, stomach area and start sculpting it into shape the original model's got these pop marks now these are actually quite easy to replicate with a toothbrush and there you go pop marks with a toothbrush now I've got the, the fat in place I've got the open wound in the stomach so all I've got to do now is put the intestines in there so this is why you make the intestines first and give them a chance to dry because this way while the stomach here is uh, not cured you can then once you put these intestines in you can literally put, push them in place this side of the exhaust will be covered however on this side I will need to drill two holes for the exhaust for the armoured parts of the bike and the armoured parts on the marines themselves I'm going to drill some holes and then afterwards I'm going to use the knife to open the holes up slightly so they're not perfect circles now you can see I've drilled some holes but don't go too deep and then you just want to use the knife give a roughness to the circle I've added a few onto the cloak as well and I've also roughened the edge of the cloak so it looks frayed because I want to try and give it a aged look and on the leg next what I wanted to do I wanted to change this guard piece here so first off I've scraped it down with a knife you don't have to get it completely smooth but I just want to get a reasonably flat surface afterwards I've got some skulls and I've cut the back off so the back ends up flat like this and then I've glued two of them in place Here's a little bonus to help you when it comes to assembling your parts. It's always worth dry fitting your parts first, especially when you're trying to do a conversion, because you want to make sure that the parts will fit in, in the way that you need them to. So here's a little tip to help you, because sometimes you're trying to hold just too many parts. A little piece of blue tack applied in, into the locations where you need the, the various parts, and there you go. When you're ready to fully assemble it and glue the pieces together, you just have to remove the blue tack. It doesn't leave any residual uh, stickiness like um, a piece of tape would. And for a short period of time, it's going to hold your pieces together so you can see whether they look right. If you like the video, remember to like, share, and click on the button on the lower right hand side to subscribe.